Hey babes, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here, hey girl, hey. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok at The Hair Life and The Hair Life Official. Jumping right into this video, y'all. I'm using my Kenra Silk Mist and my Kenra um, Shine Spray. I will link all the products that I'm using down below. I'm spraying this all over my head and I'm going to... First, go in with my hot comb. It is from my brand. I am currently sold out, but y'all just get you a hot comb, a good one. Press out your roots. And then I'm going to go in and flat iron my hair. I've said this in all of my recent videos, and I'm going to continue to say it, y'all. Postpartum did me dirty as hell. So just the hairline, ignore it. But I will be making a video very soon because the progress that my edges have made from like this video which i filmed back in march to now girl cannot wait to show y'all so stay tuned for that be on the lookout so like i said i'm just going in with my hot comb um hot comb in my roots and then i'm gonna go in and do a light flat iron you just want your hair to be nice and sleek and then i'll be back to tell y'all what the next step is Okay, so when I'm done with the flat iron, I have these Ouchless bands. I get these from Walmart, I believe, and Target might possibly have them as well, but I usually get them from Walmart. Um, I love these. They don't snag your hair. So I'm just going to use these. I'm going to put my hair up in a high ponytail. So since we don't have any leave out, you want to make sure that your ponytail is sitting as high up as possible on your head so that when you pull the bangs down, it'll just be nice and seamless. So I'm just going to put my hair up into a loose ponytail first, and then we're going to take some got to be spray. You can use whatever hairspray you like, um, but yeah, I'm just going to take some got to be and spray that all over my head. And I'm going to take my blow dryer and a fine tooth rat tail comb and just mold my hair and smooth it up into the ponytail. <music> If you need to take your ponytail down like obviously when you're combing those hairs are not going to be neatly into your ponytail so just take it down slick everything up and then redo it i probably took this ponytail down a couple of times maybe two or three times and then i just slicked it up until it was to my liking after i have my ponytail molded to my liking i just take my silk edge wrap and tie my hair up for about 15 to 20 minutes however long i have and of course i'm using a bundle from none other than the hair life official this is my brand y'all know this is the only hair i wear and i was just showing you guys these cute little edge brushes that you get with your bundle orders um i did jet black the bundle this is just one 22 inch bundle of raw indian wavy 
I will have it linked down below. Do y'all see the luster? Like, yes. So I'm just using one hairpin um, to attach the ponytail to my hair. I put that like at the base and just made sure that it wasn't hurting my um, my hair. Cause y'all know like bobby pins can really hurt. So I'm just gonna wrap the ponytail around nice and tight, making sure that I'm not trapping any of the hairs in like the wrap. If y'all, y'all know what I mean. Like I'm sure y'all have done this several times before. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna wrap this around. And then once I wrap it around, we are going to curl it and I'm gonna be using my one and one fourth inch or one and 0.25 inch um, T3. And I'm just using the same Kenra sprays, the Silk and the Mist and the Shine Spray. And for the curls, you guys will notice I'm going in opposite directions. So if I curl one curl backwards, the next one will be forward, vice versa. So I do this just to give it some extra volume. We are going to comb these curls out before we actually do the messy bun. But I just wanted to tell you guys that will give you some extra volume by rotating your curls um, opposite ways from each other. Change, people change, feelings change too. Never thought the circumstances would have changed you. You said you never tried it, no. And I believed you when they told me don't. But either way, you're still invited, and I can't even love you. I swear these days, all you say is coming to me for us. When I am done curling, I was going in with my Kenra hairspray. I believe it was the number 13. That one is like a flexible hole versus like the 26 is like a firm hole. So um, yeah, just spray with whatever hairspray you like, um, Sebastian Shaper or anything like that, just to give it a little bit of hold. So I combed out the curls, starting at the bottom, working my way to the top with a rat tail comb. You can also use a vent brush, I use either one. And you're just gonna fold your ponytail to the front of your face, like I'm showing you guys. And I also got a, a side angle so you guys can see, because when I tell y'all, this is so quick and easy. It's not gonna take you longer than like 10 minutes to do this. So you're just gonna fold that ponytail towards the face, fold it over, and then you're gonna take a hair tie and then you're just gonna secure it around. After this, basically, you just wanna take some hair from like the back portion of the bang and cover up your hair tie and then just take out small little pieces and place them where you want them so you have like little curly uh, pieces hanging down and like the front the side, the back, wherever you want them to go. I'm showing you guys right here. You wanna secure those with a bobby pin. And I try not to use too many pins because again, y'all know bobby pins can really hurt your head. So you just wanna secure those where you want them. You can recurl them. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. You can wear this bang to either side. Like you can decide if you want it on the right side or the left side, you can just flip it and then just recurl it. So it's falling how you want it to. But y'all, when I tell you this style is so quick and easy and every single time I do this style, I get so many compliments in person on social media. So I had to do this tutorial for you guys. But yeah, it's so quick and easy. If y'all try this, let me know. So yeah, girl, just play around with it until it's looking how you want it to look. And I'm going to pop up the, um, the channel that I got this idea from because I didn't come up with this. And y'all know I always give credit where credit is due. So shout out to her. I can't think of the channel name, but y'all will see it on the screen. Shout out to her for her video. She did hers with clip-ins. So it gave me the idea to just try this, like wrapping it around how I just did. But shout out to her for this super cute hairstyle. This has been one of my go-tos lately. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if y'all are gonna try it down below or if you've done this style before. Um, let me know what other videos y'all want to see as well. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye.